My friend, thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm super excited to connect with you again. Um, my friends from the Philippines, Maganda Poon, Maganda Ngabi. <laughs> my friends from Kenya, Munasemaji <laughs> Jameni. Yeah, asante ni kwa kuniunga mkono. Yaani wa Kenya mumechangamka sana. Thank you so much. My friends from Ghana and Nigeria. Hey, I need some fufu. I need some fufu and cola nuts, eh? And abacha. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you so much. Uh, I'm your guy. I'm your guy Bosco. Uh, I'm always here to talk about topics that pertain your self-development uh, for and this one is for you nurses who are preparing to come to the United States uh, I want to let you know about some differences between uh, the nursing here and the nursing in your country so if this is a topic that you are interested in please stay around so that we can have some chat <laughs> There are so many differences. So when you come here, you will have to learn a lot, a lot, a lot of new things. And sometimes that can pose several challenges. But if I tell you these things beforehand, then you know what to expect. And perhaps you can even prepare for some of them before you come here so that you are not just surprised. Whoa. All right. Welcome back. So if you've not subscribed, oh my God, you're missing. If you find an important channel like this one, you just subscribe because you don't want to miss out on any content which may come and may benefit you. All right. So let's go into the topic, the differences between nursing in the US and nursing in the rest of the world. The first one that I want to talk about is the anatomy of the unit so when you enter a, a unit on the in here in the united states in any hospital first of all you will reach the nurses station and then uh, the nurses station is a big uh, and vast place where you find the, the the seat of the unit clerk who also acts as the unit secretary You'll find chairs and computers where nurses sit and document uh, the care that they have done to the patients. You'll find a machine that uh, also tells you about which patient is calling. When a patient calls in their room, you who is at the nurse's station is able to tell that so-and-so is calling patient in room five is calling and needs water needs to go to the toilet all that is found at the nurse's station you will also find in close proximity a, a kind of a tube system that uh, something if something comes from pharmacy it doesn't somebody from pharmacy many times they don't need to bring that uh, item directly to to the unit they pass it through a tube system so near the nursing station that's where items will be delivered through the wall can you imagine <laughs> things are passing through the wall uh, past labor and delivery through everywhere and then they finally through the wall come to the nursing station that's awesome and um so from the nursing station you will go to the patient's rooms here in the United States, every patient has their own rooms. Uh, I've done some nursing in Kenya. I've done nursing in Uganda. I saw that patients are on the wards, like 
you are you are the patient in the hospital but your neighbor is just right here you're like hey <laughs> my colleague how is your morning <laughs> are you recovering or you are about to die <laughs> yeah those are jokes but um here in the united states we don't have uh wards it's patient's room so it's the patient's room is kind of like a hotel room where there are sofas there is a tv and so uh, it's, it's made to make the patient feel more like uh, they are still at home uh, however uh, the, the bed is a patient's bed as usual uh, with all the with all the appliances that are able to help the patient patient's recovery for example uh, putting them in a in uh, in a semi fowler's position and any other adjustments that you may make uh, <clears throat> as necessary uh, so that's the patient's room uh, it's a bit it's a bit executive and all that depending on the hospital anyway yeah yeah but that i hope that gives you a picture how, of how different uh, the <clears throat> the patient will will uh I hope that gives you a picture of the patient's room here. And so um, the room of course has other appliances for many hospitals. Each room has a computer. Uh, each room has, you know, those appliances like oxygen, um, like chairs for patient's family to sit. And so, uh, yeah, just to increase patient's comfort. Um, different lights and all that. Uh, so then the other room that you will find on the unit is the nutrition room. <laughs> yeah, so the other difference I noted immediately I came is that uh, patients here have... So the other difference I noted here is that patients can ask for a cup of coffee at any time. They can ask for water. They can ask for a snack. They can ask for crackers, uh, something that may not happen in your home country. So once a patient feels like they need a cup of tea, <laughs> they're going to send you as their nurse. And you may go for that or you may delegate, but... Uh, you, what the room where you are going is called the nutrition room there is a fridge where they keep juices where they keep pudding they, they, they keep milk and all that and everything that is used for patients nutrition uh, this does not mean that that is where the patient's food comes from the patient's food comes from the nutrition department uh, specialized for each patient's medical requirements but this is a room where patients can get snacks and all the go the the go between meals i hope you understand now the other room that you may find is the med room the med room now the med room is where there is the omni cell or the pixis machine for which uh, is a machine where you give computerized instruction and it gives you the drugs you want uh, after specifying a patient so this room also has syringes it has iv fluids it has iv lines that is the med room the other room that you want to talk up we want to uh, want to talk about is the linen room so the linen room is where bed sheets uh, blankets patient gowns are kept and so some hospitals even have a machine that warms those linen so uh, <clears throat> your patient will let you know that i need a warm blanket and you'll go to that machine and you remove a warm blanket <laughs> how good is that <laughs> yeah so for example if it's ch chilly for the patient they feel it's a bit chilly for them you're not gonna get any blanket out of the shelf you're gonna get a machine uh, a blanket out of the the machine which is warm yeah that gives you a picture of the linen room the other room that you may be of interest to you is uh the clean utility so the clean utility is where you find dressing packs um 
um, procedure kits like uh, Foley insertion kits. Uh, those ones are all kept in the. Uh, those ones are all kept in the clean utility. Uh, so those are some of the rooms that you may find. I mean, other hospitals may have other rooms for specific purposes, but that is the uh, general. <clears throat> That's that's generally it, and I, I hope you kind of know that when I enter a hospital, I'm going to find a nurses station, and then I'm going to see that each that unit has many patients' rooms, and on that that each um uh, that each patient is in a specific room, and that each of uh each of that, those units there is I'm going to find a med room. I'm going to find a clean utility room, uh, a nutrition room, and other rooms as I have specified. So difference number two, which I have already hinted on, is that here in the United States, uh, medicines or patients' drugs are not kept on the shelf like it may happen elsewhere. Uh, medicines are kept in a Pixis machine or the Omnicell. Omnicell. Uh, this is a machine which you give computerized instructions so that it can give you drugs after you specify which patient's medicines you want. So you will go to the, com to, it has like a computer screen where you uh, specify which patient you're going to get drugs for and then you put on the medicine is due at that time and then it will it will open the, the specific drawer for each medicine. Uh, and then after that, uh, you will close. Um, so that's, that's different from what happens elsewhere where you may get medicines from a shelf or a drawer, okay? Um, this machine also is where narcotics are kept, every medicine, uh, which is different from uh, the unit where you perhaps working where there is a special special cupboard for narcotics or uh, controlled medicines controlled substances yeah so uh, <clears throat> the other difference you may want to know is that here in the United States medicines are especially now I'm talking about infusions they are given using drug pumps now this means that uh, you must specify if you're going to give an infusion you must specify which medicine you are giving you must specify for whichever medicine you are giving you must specify the rate at which you're going to infuse that drug uh, for example if you are going to give say simple medicine like uh, vancomycin you must specify what rate it's maybe it's gonna run at 200 ml per hour you must put that in a drug pump and then you must put the total volume say the total volume is 100 ml and then you will know this medicine is going to run in 30 minutes <laughs> okay so um and then you will have to give a flash depending on the hospital policy you must do the setting as a flat sometimes you will have to infuse the vancomycin with say normal saline and then you will have to learn how to set how to run two infusions concurrently and that means that you're going to set do the settings on the infusion pump that's very important for you to note. So if you are there and you are not yet here in the United States and you have somewhere where you can learn some bit of uh, pumps, make sure you do so that you, you can have it easy here, okay? That's very good. Uh, the other difference that you may want to learn about is electronic documentation. Now, unlike where you are practicing here in the U.S., uh, documentation uh, is done electronically so there are different systems each hospital adopts an electronic documentation system for example you will come and maybe your hospital is using epic other hospitals are using meditech uh, there is a uh, mahaz depending on which hospital you will find a different documentation system 
so that will take you some weeks to learn it's uh, kind of a little uh, it's something that needs time okay yeah that is i uh, honestly depending on where you come from you may not have much to do about it just come here don't worry just immerse yourself into the learning you will do well no problem at all you will learn okay so the other difference here is the professional independence <laughs> yeah here nurses are very independent in their practice uh they do their work without uh you know being shepherded by doctors like hey you have to do this hey why didn't you do this no here it's professionalism you as a nurse you are a full professional you have to do everything that you are supposed to do on time you're supposed to do everything you're supposed to do uh correctly so nobody outside is gonna say hey why are you not doing this or please do this <laughs> yeah that's what happens here so that also comes with uh, a lot of professional accountability so that if a patient sues the hospital uh, you the nurse your actions are going to you know to be brought to account because you are a full-fledged professional doing everything with full knowledge with full professional independence so that's why i advise nurses if you are able get a professional malpractice insurance uh the common one that i know is called nso nso just google nso professional mal malpractice insurance you will see uh so that you can be covered in any case something happens they will give you a lawyer and uh, yeah you know it's better than nothing better to prepare for the the un um the unseen um and then the other difference that you want to know about is patient assignment here if you are on the icu you are going to be given one patient or two patients maximum three patients and if you are given three patients it means the other two patients are more almost being discharged from the icu to the respective or definitive units and this one is the most critical but um most likely you will have two patients in the icu and if you are on the med surge unit you're gonna have uh you're gonna have five to seven patients yeah sometimes <laughs> things happen and you get eight patients but just know that's the number that's the mark five to seven patients is the number however do not start dancing that hey <laughs> this is little work no this is even more work because the patient here in the united states is different from the patient from where you are coming from uh <clears throat> patients here are demanding patients here uh you know they have a lot of work to do so for example a patient needs a cup of coffee <laughs> he will have to either delegate or go yourself as an rn so uh whereas in your ho home country the patient probably will have an attendant there who is doing certain things probably i i know some of my viewers are from south africa and you know the environment there may be close to, to what happens in the u.s some of my viewers from the philippines <laughs> i know also you may not have that but my here viewers in the u.s uh, visitors have specified times where they visit so the rest of the care is in your hands and the nurse the nursing assistants all right so uh, the other difference that is here is the drug administration procedure so after you get drugs from the pixies before you administer it to the patient you have to scan the patient then you have to scan the drug uh, then um, you have to explain to the patient whatever you're going to give you have to explain to the patient and the side effects of those drugs especially just remember to explain the side effects because hospitals are ranked depending on you know how their nurses do explain side effects 
um, indications, side effects to to uh, patients before the drugs are administered. So after discharge, the patient in the United States is given a survey to evaluate the care they received, uh, which is not the case at home. So uh, that, that, those are some of the important things I wanted to mention in that issue uh, so that you know once you come here, it's not a matter of giving drugs. You have to explain. I mean, you may already be doing that where you are practicing. That is excellent, excellent. Just keep up that habit. And then finally, let's talk about the salary. What is the salary of a nurse here in the United States? <laughs> I have already created a video on that, but just a summary. Uh, I will link that video here in the description so that you can watch it if you want. But uh, uh, just as a summary, nurses here get between $26 to $110. <laughs> you want to know why there is a huge difference like that? Just watch that video. Yeah, uh, but what I wanted to, to say is that the salary here is, uh, nurses are one of the highest paid professionals in America and nurses are respected so if you have a friend and you tell them hey I'm a registered nurse <laughs> they will be like wow yeah because the nursing profession is you know is regarded with high esteem yeah because they are trusted they, it's one of the most trusted professions uh, it's uh, one of the most prestigious professions here in America. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, when you come to America, you will feel that difference. And that's good for you also to feel that you are heading up for a new challenge, but you are also heading to an environment where your work is appreciated. All right, that is it. That is it, my friend. Thank you so much for being here with me all this time. I hope you benefited from this video. Subscribe and keep following me for more videos. I'll keep, I'll keep you posted for anything that I feel will prepare you for your success here in the United States. All right, bye-bye for now.